The 22-page ruling issued Monday in Dane County a partial win for Michael Gableman, the attorney hired to run the Republican-led review of the 2020 election. The judge now potentially allowing Gableman to privately interview Wisconsin election officials behind closed doors at his rented office space in Brookfield, a move the Department of Justice has been fighting for months. They want to do it in a, a secret a uh, private uh, setting. The judge, though, also saying Attorney General Josh Call can continue fighting those subpoenas, setting the stage for a lengthy court battle ahead. The Attorney General today referencing our recent interview with Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, who said he wants the investigation complete by the end of February. Certainly, I wanted to conclude the work. Um, so we have a very clear understanding between the two of us that I want him to conclude, you know, like I say, nowhere did I anticipate that this would take as long as it has. In response, Call said in a statement, it is my hope that former Justice Gableman will withdraw these unnecessary subpoenas rather than continuing to litigate over them. Gableman's team tonight has not publicly responded. Gableman has also recently issued a new round of subpoenas targeting city IT departments and has also continued to show interest in privately interviewing election officials in the state's five largest cities. In Milwaukee, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. In a statement tonight, Megan Wolf, the Wisconsin Elections Commission Administrator, says the agency has already provided Gableman with documents and data and wants any testimony to happen in public.